Hello, and welcome to Andrew Broussard Watercolors. Today I am continuing the summer exploration of art and art supplies. Uh, in front of me I have the Hobby Lobby uh, store brand Master's Touch um, pad of paper. This is the black mixed media and it is heavyweight. It's 160 pounds. I like the heavier weight stuff. It just feels nice. And it's uh, 15 sheets, nine by 12 inches. Uh, the price is $10, but every other week Hobby Lobby um, has their in-house papers on sale, the Master's Touch stuff. So I got this for $5. And if you do price per unit, if you do the $5 per 15, five divided by 15, that simplifies to one third. That's about 33.3 cents a sheet, which really isn't too bad. Um, I always sound like I'm a person advertising for Hobby Lobby or Michaels or Blick or Jerry's Artorama, but these are just uh, websites that are stores that are available to me and what I'm using. If there's a shop that you like, like Cheap Joe's or anything like that, uh, let me know in the comments below. I think uh, Europe has, uh, is it Jackson's Art Supply? So they probably have a lot of great stuff too. The first one I'm going to do with this is look at the jelly rolls on it and see how it looks. And I'm going to sketch from uh, the Steinlin cat book that I talked about in a previous video. So the white jelly rolls, um, we're just going to kind of mark in our places where we want this cat to sit. I'm at the top of the ear somewhere in this region and we'll do the bottom of the cat somewhere around here. I want to keep it within an 8 by 10 area. I marked the top and the bottom so I could kind of uh, start getting things in location. One of the biggest issues that I have and artists in general will often have is drawing in such a fashion that they run out of room and they wind up um, having a part of a body or part of uh, still life off the paper. To kind of summarize something that I'm always quoting or summarizing from um, Mr. David LaFell and a fantastic, fantastic painter. He always kind of says, you know, give yourself room around the portrait, around what you're working so that the viewer doesn't look at it and say to themselves, oh, it just looks cramped. It looks like the um, artist ran out of room. So that's something you don't want uh, to kind of happen. So the jelly roll is flowing nicely with this. I am just making more or less just marks at this point. So I'm not trying any continuous lines. There is a little bit of skipping happening, but I'm a um, person that sketches as opposed to getting the um, nice solid lines. I'll try that in some spots. I like all the positions that Steinlin has within this book. They seem really realistic, and I have the two cats in my house, Hammy and Percy, and it's hard for me to get them to sit still, or if they're in like a purpose, like perfect position, and I go to take a picture of them, it seems like they know, and then they up and bolt. So it's a good reference source. So that's the point five. I wanted to kind of go through the uh, different sizes that I have and see how they look. This is the, well, I think it's just five. This is the eight or the 08, so it should be a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker. With um, the Steinlin book, I had mentioned that it has some contour lines in it. Uh, some of the painting, some of the drawings are more value and um, volume studies. 
and start seeing the shape of the body and how he started putting things together. So good resource to study from. And it's a good change of pace if you're just studying portraits uh, work or landscape. It's always nice to have a little something extra in your bag of tricks. There's even some that I had looked at where you can see that texture and I've felt that muscular bone structure when uh, petting hammy, like the shoulder blades up between them. So it's cool seeing how he realized those within his drawings. A friend of mine, a local artist, uh, Ryan, really cool guy, really nice fella. We um, share art supplies and experiments, things like that. And he had taken a picture of, I think, a cat or his cat, and had drawn the cat in, um, I don't know if it was chalk on a dark gray paper, but it came out fantastic. It's also a good change of pace if you're um, working on white or toned paper and you're working with Conte uh, or charcoal, uh, sepia, sepia, anything like that. It's kind of fun to, uh, to switch things up and draw things from the other viewpoint. Let's start uh, putting contour lines in. I'm gonna go for that now. We have a thick shading here. It kind of thins out here. See, I smudged a little bit. We're going to create that shape right there. Bring that in. of a head. That wrap around. Let's get more chancy with this outline. So it seems to be handling it pretty well. Um, like I said, I am smudging a little bit, so it's not drying perfectly fine. Let's make a mark up in here. So it can smear. I'll make another mark, and then we'll see in a moment if it um, smears as well. But this is the number 10, so this is gonna let out a lot more of that jelly roll ink. Nice thing about these type of studies, it lets you see how far you want to go with it. The nose, this leg comes out a lot further. Move that around. It looks like this cat is sitting amongst grass, so. See if it smudges. Not as bad, but you can see it's still in the drawing process. Now, whenever I do any sketches of any masterworks or any studies of masterworks, I'll sign them just in case the, they leave my hands, but I'll also write who they are after. I'm going to do a follow up uh, second video with the Conte crayon, the white on top of this paper, and see how that looks. So, uh, stay in tuned for that. 
If there's anything you want me to do that I am not doing, let me know. If there's anything I'm missing or you want me to discuss, let me know that as well. I hope you enjoyed. Um, please like, subscribe, follow, and that being said, thank you to everybody that supports me through uh, Patreon and through YouTube. Um, all that stuff I try to put right back into art supplies and different experiments to either kind of show you guys materials that are out there or um, just experiment with different techniques. And if this was to have a mat over it, it would look like that. That's a fun little sketch, uh, seeing the form, etc. And the jelly roll works well on this paper. Like I said, I'm gonna follow up with a new, another video with the Conte, the white Conte, and see how that acts on it. So stay tuned and I'll be back.